I had the most interesting client yesterday. Now all my clients are interesting. This one was different because she came to have her colours done but she was blind. Want to hear more? Good, then keep listening. I'm Kate from Colour Me Kate. Welcome back. So my client wanted to understand her colours and then I discovered she was blind and I thought, whoa, that's, that's a bit of a spin out. How am I going to explain the colours that suit her to her? So as it turned out, my client had a memory of colour. So she had been blind for 20 years, but she had been sighted for many, many years before that. So at least I could say uh, this is a blue or this is a red and she would have had some understanding of what I was talking about and what I was trying to describe but once we had done the draping and I'd figure out whether, whether she had a warm or a cool undertone to her skin and she was warm I then discovered her swatch of colors and I always go through the swatch with people and I put a little dot on the backs of the individual colors that are really my clients wow factor colors you know the colors that are really going to make their eyes pop or their skin look fabulous or whatever um, so as I was doing this I was then trying to explain oh I've put a dot on the back of this one and for instance so this one for instance and it's a yellow and she said, well, I'm not, I've never been too keen on yellow. And I said, okay, well, it's not a really bright, bright fluorescent sort of yellow, which she was relieved about. It's, and I was trying to think of the words to describe the yellow that it was. And I said, it's, it's think of a custard and add more milk. It's a really milky custard color. And she went, ah, oh, okay, I get that. And we were going through all these colors and I was, forced to think of other ways to describe colors and there was another one that was really lovely on her which was a sort of pinky ready tone um, but there are millions of pinky ready tones so how could I let her know what this particular pinky ready tone was like and I said okay think of the sort of pinky red that you would see in a Tuscan sunset and she went oh okay and now I can you know internally visualize that so it was really useful for her, but it was incredibly useful for me as well because it really made me think about how to very descriptively describe colors that somebody else can't see. So it was a fascinating exercise. Um, and the reason, in case you're wondering, the reason that she wanted to understand her colors was she relies on family members or support workers to choose clothes for her when she goes shopping and she feels that she's she has to hand over her control of that obviously so this way she has a guide she is able to show people and say look these are the colors that suit me this is what I like the, do the ones with dots on the back ha are the ones that are really doing something for me so she's it has enabled her to take back some of that control and some of that power um, so that she can make her own choices and decisions in her own life and I think that's absolutely wonderful. Such a warm and fuzzy, such a lovely client. It was an absolute pleasure working with her. So I'll put a picture of my client up so that you can see for yourself what she looks like and how she looked in the colours that we dressed her in. But I hope you enjoyed that little story as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you and experiencing it with her. Until next time, this is Kate from Colour Me Kate. <laughs>